Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum Fee. I just finished a workout and I'm gonna do a cool down and stretch with you guys. I don't always post a cool down and stretch at the end of each one of my workouts, but it's always a good idea to get it in. And this is the one that I most often do at the end of my workouts. Going forward, I'm gonna add a link to this video in the description box of every single one of my workout videos so you can add in a cool down and stretch at the end if I don't include one in the video. Let's take our feet wider apart and we can take a big inhale up, exhale out. We'll do that again. One more time. Good. We can stretch out our side body now. Let's cross one leg in front and lifting up and to the top corner of the room, stretching through the side body here. You can let your hips sway a little bit to really round out through the side. Take a breath here. Good. And let's switch to the other side. Breathing into your ribs here. Beautiful, coming out. Let's take our feet wide again, stretch out through our groin here. We can drop one shoulder in, stretching out. Switching shoulders. And back and forth one more time. Good, let's come up for a quad stretch here. If you wanted to place your hand on a wall for balance, you can. Grabbing your ankle, knees reaching towards the ground. Good, let's switch sides. Releasing. Let's come into a wide leg forward fold. We'll bring our feet wide apart. Pigeon toe our toes in a little bit. We take our hands to our hips, opening up our chest, folding all the way forward, dropping our head, relaxing at the bottom. You can shake it now. Let's clasp our elbows, relaxing through our back. Steady breaths. You can release your hands to the ground and we'll bend through one knee coming to one side here, feeling the stretch. And just moving back and forth as feels good to you. Keeping your core engaged to protect your Pulling your belly in to protect your core. Good. Let's straighten both legs and we'll roll up one vertebra at a time. Good. Let's come down to our knees and tuck our toes, pushing into downward dog. Let's walk out our heels, lifting one heel up at a time, really feeling a nice stretch through the backs of the legs. Reaching both heels down towards the ground or the mat. Doesn't matter if they actually touch. 
coming back to all fours, bending our knees. We can come into a lunge here, stepping one foot forward, shifting our weight forward. You can tuck your tailbone to get a deeper stretch through your hip flexor here. We'll stay up high for a couple breaths. Good. You can either stay here or if it feels good, you can place your hands on the inside of your foot and stretch on your hands or even come down to your elbows here. If you're on your elbows, let's come back up onto our hands, shifting our weight back. We'll do a half split stretch here, finding length in our spine and then folding forward. You can either place your hands on your legs or if it can reach the ground, you can fold forward here. Feeling like a string is pulling the top of your head. Let's flex our front foot a couple of times. Good. Folding forward, relaxing over your leg now. Good. Let's come up. We'll move to the other side. Lunging on this side, feeling the stretch through your hip flexor here. You can stay here or move down on your hands or your elbows. Keeping your belly pulled in. Relaxing a little bit more through your hips here. This would be a passive stretch. And re-engaging your muscles and your core, pushing up, shifting your weight back into your back knee. Let's come to half split on the other side. Your hips are square. Flexing and pointing your front foot. Good. Relaxing over your front leg now. We can come up now. We're gonna move into a seated position. You can put one leg out and take one foot into your thigh. Good. Inhale up, folding over your leg. Still finding length so you're not collapsing over your leg. Take one more breath here and then we'll switch to the other side. Coming up, switching your legs around. Inhale your arms up, folding forward.
Holding a little bit deeper. And then coming up. Let's take both legs wide apart for wide legged forward fold. It doesn't matter how far it is, whatever it feels like a good stretch to you, but it shouldn't be painful. And we'll walk our hands forward if that feels good. Relaxing into a stretch here. And coming back up, we'll bring our feet in for Baddha Konasana. Letting your knees flop up, you can stay sitting tall or you can hinge at your hips and lean forward. Be careful not to crunch forward. We wanna protect our core still so you still have some length in your spine. Relax a little bit more through your hips. And we'll come up. We can cross our legs for a chest opener here. Placing our hands behind us so our fingertips are pointing towards our feet. And then you can open up through your chest. Coming back down, let's round out the other way, stretching our hands forward, rounding out through our upper back. Good. From here, we can move into a figure four stretch or you can alternatively do pigeon. So crossing one leg over, sitting up tall. You can also press on your knee here for a deeper stretch. You can always walk your bottom foot in also to get a deeper stretch as well. We can switch sides. Taking steady breaths, lower belly is still pulling in. Let's take one more breath here. Good, and release out and we are done. I hope you are feeling cooled down and stretched out. If you like that video and you wanna see more of it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other type of video you wanna see in the comments below. Of course, I will keep making postpartum videos every week. If you like videos like these and to get notified, you can subscribe, hit the notification bell, and to support me, share this with another mom friend or mom community that you think would enjoy it. I also have lots of free resources for moms you can grab from the description box below, a monthly postpartum workout plan where you get a new workout for every day of the month, a complete guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy. I also have a weight loss course that I put together as a registered dietitian and a bariatric educator, as well as a breastfeeding guide on how to increase breast milk supply, as well as other resources. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link to the whole playlist of postpartum yoga and workouts so you can save it and go back to it anytime you like. Thanks so much for joining me again, and I hope to see you in the next video.